Hello, I'm Professor Yang Sung Min. When it comes to the peri-implantitis, it is important to establish a bright line for the treatment of peri-implantitis. Also important is the choice of instrument. In this lecture, let's have a look at the IM Cure Kit. The tool is easy to use and it can cover the diagnosis through the treatment. Today, I'm going to talk about the introduction of IM Cure Kit, characteristics of IM Cure Kit, how to use the IM Cure Kit, and summary. First, the IM Cure Kit in treating peri-implantitis, what is most important thing is to detoxify the infected implant surface. There are chemical and mechanical ways. One of the mechanical ways we can use the IM Cure Kit. It is not really different from others, but uh, it has more ease of use characteristic. Components of IM Cure Kit. If you look at it carefully, the kit seems to have a various components, but basically it has diagnosis tool and the treatment tool. Probes are for diagnosis, and there are two materials, plastic and metal. For treatment, the metal curettes are included the characteristic of IM Cure Kit is the Smart Brush 1 and 2 and Smart Scaler and Protect Screw for Smart Brush 2. Let's have a look at each of them in more details. The probes have two types, plastic and metal, for diagnosis. Both of them are used to diagnose peri-implant diseases. There is not much difference between using plastic versus metal. It is about how deep into the implant surface it can access. In I'm Cure Kit, the plastic probe is recommended for implant, peri-implant mucositis, and metal probe is recommended for peri-implantitis. These are the illustrations, plastic curette and metal curette, how to use them, is described. But clinically, I intermix them, but in practical terms, in terms of visibility, the color-coded plastic is easy to see, metal has some light reflection for accurate pocket depth and the bone loss amount checking, plastic is a good choice. The second treatment tool is the general curette included in the kit. Some curettes are for incisors and some premolar molars. Posterior ones have a mesial curettes and distal curettes, and they are color-coded yellow for incisors, orange posterior mesial, blue posterior distal. I am Cure Kit has some unique feature one of them is the brushes, and there are two types, and one of them is the Smart Brush 1. This is used to access the surface of an implant that is contaminated after opening the flap physically. That is the first tool to be used. Mechanically, we use the term macro polishing, that is reducing the surface roughly. So this is for that purpose. Specifications, 
there is a short shank and a long shank. Long shank is optional. Depending on the depth of the defect, which one to choose can be determined. If you look at the end tip of the smart brush, it is made of special material and the diameter is about 2 millimeters. The tip comes in contact with the surface of an implant to remove the contaminated surface of an implant. How to access that? At the speed of 12 to 1500 RPM, one minute per thread. I believe one minute is a bit too long. You can spend 30 seconds to one minute. It is recommended not to use more than four minutes. You cannot use more than four minutes because the special material would be worn out after using for some time. So it is not really to be reused. It is disposable, one-time use only. The material can be sterilized, but as I said before, the blade wears down, so using it again would not be possible. This illustrates the smart brush one applied to the surface of an implant. As I mentioned, what is important is whatever instrument you may use, direct contact is very important. So if you use the smart brush one in a non-surgical procedure, the inside gingiva can be damaged quite a lot. It should be used in a surgical approach. The second characteristic of the kit is the smart brush two. When there is a vertical bone loss, the surface detoxification can be efficiently done with a cylindrical form. Just like the smart brush one, it is used for the rough macro polishing. Depending on the diameters of an implant, uh, there are various diameters. 4 to 4.5, 5 millimeter diameter implants are indicated here, so depending on the implant diameter, you can choose the appropriate one. You need to be careful in using the smart brush too. The connection part would be removed all at once, so there is a high probability of damaging it. So protect the screw should be used to protect the connection part. Also, one minute is recommended per thread, and it shouldn't go over three minutes. In my use, I find it very powerful, so you don't really need to use it up to one minute. One of the tips that is very important, when you access the top of implant, with the protector screw connected, while the brush is rotating, the blade may be bent, so it should be adapted first before power is delivered. It should not be applied while the drill is turning. Adaptation should be done before accessing the implant to use it more safely. Smart brush 2 is applied like in these illustrations, the engine is turning and it is opening up a little bit and can go down the implant. The third characteristic of I'm Cure Kit is the smart scaler. The smart scaler can be used by connecting it to the conventional ultrasonic scaler machine. Compared to the conventional tip, the tip is thinner. Between the threads, 
the scalar tip should access and clean the part so it has the standard sizes for that and it is made that it can be bent easily to increase the accessibility to the surface compared to smart brush one or two this is for finer polishing after using smart brush one or two you need to use the smart scaler to make the surface smooth. Likewise, as I said before, this is the secondary tool. After using the primary tools, this is used as a second step. One thing to be careful about using this is that you need to use it at low power. Scalar machine has many different levels of power that can be applied. If the power level is high, Implanted threads can be erased or destroyed. So in order to reduce the possibility and to maximize the effect, you need to lower the power that is applied to the smart scaler. This is different from smart brush one or two. You need to use it for 30 seconds per thread that is recommended. The implant surface will shine and uh, you can tell by looking at the surface whether it is polished or not. This is the illustration of applying the smart scaler. As I said before, the tip can be bent to increase the accessibility and uh, you need to keep that in mind. The plastic smart scalers are available too. Plastic requires a lot of caution when it is used. Many people misuse it. The plastic tip of smart scaler is used to access implant surface. Of course, if it is used at low power as recommended, there's no problem. But probes or when scalers have plastic tips, and when they are used on metal surface, remnants would remain. The remnants remaining would defeat the purpose of using the cleaning of the surface. The remnants can cause inflammation. So the plastic scalar tip should be applied not to the infected implant, but to the crown and the abutment. As you can see here, when it accesses the surface, on the surface, the plastic remnants would remain, which is hard to remove based on a study. Metal and plastic tips can be used in the scaler, and when they are applied to rough implant surfaces. In general, you can see the remnants are remaining all over and they are not easily removed with water spray, rubbing palette or other methods. They can cause inflammation later. This is the cause of inflammation. So plastic scalar tip should not be applied to the infected implant surface, but to the smooth surface of abutments to clean it. This requires further study in the future. To remove the contamination on the surface of an implant, plastic curette should not be used and that you need to be careful about. I talked about Smart Brush 1 and Smart Brush 2 used for macro polishing. So if it is polished roughly, in general, the implant surface roughness 
the RA value is between 2 and 2.5 and the rough surface would be polished and if you use the smart scaler the second tool after the polishing fine polishing the surface RA values change to 0.5 to 1 even though microorganisms attach on the surface later it is attaching to smooth surface so this is much more favorable condition to prevent that you can see the shiny surface you can tell whether the surface is polished or not by looking at the color of it treatment can be different whether it is um, peri-implantitis or peri-implant mucositis if the patient has peri-implant mucositis plastic probe and plastic scalar tip can be used to clean the abutments to get desired outcome if it is a peri-implantitis plastic should not be used to treat the surface metal tip should be used and uh, if crown can be removed it should be removed if not you need to secure the maximum access and after that uh, you can raise the flap and use the smart brush one or smart brush two followed by the smart scaler with the metal tip after that the flap is sutured and uh, you can achieve the detoxification of the implant surface uh, this is a clinical case crowns are removed first the flap is raised the defects are removed clean the area and smart brush one is used and chemical cleaning using tetracycline or hydrogen peroxide to detoxify the implant surface one more time if you look at the form there is a crater form bone defect so bone graft for regeneration is done and the flap adaptation is made after you try it several times the tip blade would be worn down quite a lot so this is to be used for single use only it can be autoclaved but it doesn't increase the efficiency of the procedure so a single use is recommended and you can see it is healed summary Amcure kit is used for treatment of a peri-implantitis and maintenance of treated implants. Most importantly, when it comes to the peri-implantitis, is the surface detoxification. Mechanical cleaning can be done using the Amcure kit, and uh, this increases the comfort of the patient quite a lot what is important when it comes to using such instrument is to understand the characteristics of the of the instrument and how to treat using the kit so the flap is opened and surface is detoxified and uh, the flap is closed so i'm cure kit is applied to detoxify the surface of the implant implants can be placed successfully but unexpectedly peri-implantitis can occur baffling the patient as well as the doctors if we can comfort the patient with the best treatment that we can do and get good results we will be able to build a trust in the relationship with patients. Keep in mind the challenging cases can give us rewards. Thank you for your listening.